be the down to 232 to 220 volts 220 volts the current rating will be 4.5 amps or uh, 5 amps so increasing the load yes 232 to 220 volts then the load voltage across the induction motor this induction motor this is the induction motor and uh, at the terminal voltage will be measured by the terminal voltage is measured by the this transformer this is the transformer which is connected to phase and neutral terminal this transformer steps down to 9 volts and uh, this is the uh, diode with rectifier this diode with rectifier will be step down the voltage to 5 volts 5 volts this is not a pure dc this is the pulsating dc pulsating dc the rectifier bridge circuit will output will be the pulsating dc that pulsating dc will be smoothened by the dc capacitor that capacitor and output will be the smooth dc that dc will given to the microcontroller this is the microcontroller unit inside the microcontroller the programming will be pi control will be there and whatever be the uh, this is the synchronization of alternator uh, signals that will be step down to the arm processor because the arm processor will be run at the 3.3 volts so step down to 3.3 volts and given to the uh, input uh, port number 1 this is the reading of motor control for the lcd display so motor will be running and this uh, microcontroller unit will given to that zero crossing detection two uh, two thyristors the this output of the two uh, zero crossing detectors will given to that uh, opto couplers these are the two opto couplers one opto coupler for thyristor 1 and one another opto coupler for thyristor 2 this opto coupler output given to that gate of the thyristors this is the gate thyristor 1 and thyristor 2 the load voltage this is a feedback loop this is a feedback loop and given to the microcontroller microcontroller will uh, run the program of the phase angle control of the uh, this whole circuit the phase angle will be t1 and t2 this is the uh, continued display of thyristor 1 and thyristor 2 this will be the how the voltage will be 